Global bourses are trading mixed on Thursday. The Federal Open Market Committee voted unanimously to raise the Fed target rate by 25 basis points. The Fed signaled that rates will rise faster than previously forecast. Now keep in mind that the election of Donald Trump has led to an increase in inflationary signals. On Wednesday, U.S. indices closed lower after the Fed a decision, and we saw that shares in automobiles and components, energy and utility sectors helped push the market lower. As for your advancers versus decliners in the U.S., 86% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. And in the after-hours market, Pfizer announced that the FDA approved Eucrisa ointment 2%. That is for patients two years of age and older. The ointment is a novel non-steroidal topical PDE-4 inhibitor for the treatment of mild to moderate atopic dermatitis. And United Technologies reaffirmed its fiscal year 2016 adjusted EPS guidance of 6 bucks and 55 cents to 6 bucks and 60 cents and sales guidance of 57 to $58 billion. The company said it expects a fiscal year 2017 and adjusted EPS to come in between six bucks and 30 cents to six bucks on, and 60 cents on sales of 57 and a half billion to 59 billion. And moving on to Yahoo, the company reported a new security issue. It says that based on further analysis of the data by forensic experts, it believes an unauthorized third party in August of 2013 stole data associated with more than 1 billion user accounts. And moving on to today's earnings, we have results coming out from Oracle and Adobe Systems. Both companies report after the closing bell today. And on the economic calendar, it is heavy. We get third quarter current account balance at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Also coming out, we have the December Empire Manufacturing Index as well as November CPI and weekly jobless claims. The December Philadelphia Fed Business Outlook is scheduled for release. At 9.45 a.m., we get the preliminary market U.S. manufacturing PMI, and in the afternoon, October total net tech flows will be released. Taking a look at overseas markets, Asian markets were mostly lower today. The Nikkei managed to gain 0.1%, but the Hang Seng was off nearly minus 1.8%, and South Korea's Kospi closed flat. European indices are trading higher. And for the U.S. equity indices, uh, the S&P 500 is in focus today. It is under pressure and trading central analysts prefer short positions below 2260 with targets at 2240 and 2243 in extension. As for the Nasdaq on an intraday basis, consolidation is in place and for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it is under pressure on an intraday basis.